Hello, my name is Akash Bajpe, and I am the corresponding author for this work entitled Design and Validation of a Versatile High-Torque Quasi-Direct Drive Hip Exoskeleton. Wearable robotic devices have made significant advances to augment joint strength, increase endurance, or improve locomotive economy. Many devices are specialized to sew benefits in a single task. However, in many occupational settings, people are required to accomplish multiple tasks, ranging from ambulation to lifting. These tasks vary in terms of their speed and torque requirements. We design a powerful and versatile quasi-direct drive hip exoskeleton to assist in both lifting and ambulation. The in-house fabricated actuator is built around a frameless motor to achieve high specific torque and high peak torque. The actuator features a partial spur gear which is composed of steel teeth and aluminum framing to reduce weight. The type of controller employed for all tasks featured in this work is quasi-stiffness impedance control. The hip angle, theta, is used to directly calculate the output torque. Human biomechanics datasets map the torque angle relationship of the hip across various movements. Springs and their equilibrium angles can be tuned to fit linear regions of the torque angle curve. These springs can then be appropriately engaged and disengaged to augment the user. Here we see the torque profile to assist walking at 1.25 meters per second, assuming a participant mass of 90 kilograms. Similarly, for symmetric lifting, we can extract spring constants and equilibrium angles from a data set to create a quasi-stiffness based impedance controller. This controller can then generate an assistive torque profile. To transmit high torques, a custom carbon fiber based orthotic interface was developed with our clinical collaborator. The exoskeleton is designed to minimize distal mass, allow for passive movement, and adjust to varying body sizes. We now show examples of our static and dynamic benchtop testing. We now show examples of torque tracking at various speeds and assistance levels. With benchtop and human torque tracking testing complete, we proceed to demonstrate the versatility of the exoskeleton over three tasks. These tasks include high speed walking at 1.75 meters per second, incline walking at 6 degrees, and symmetric knee-to-waist lifting. Within each task, three conditions are compared, including a no exoskeleton condition, an exoskeleton powered off condition, and an actively controlled exoskeleton condition. The net metabolic cost results for each task are now shown. For lifting, averaged over three participants, the powered condition exhibited a 16.7 reduction compared to the no exo condition and a 22% reduction compared to the exo unpowered condition. During incline walking, a 19.4% reduction was detected compared to the exo unpowered condition. Finally, during level ground high speed walking, a 12.5% reduction was observed compared to the exo-unpowered condition. In summary, this work describes the design and validation of a versatile, high-torque, quasi-direct drive sagittal hip exoskeleton. Specifically, we outline a quasi-direct drive hip exoskeleton testbed that can provide 100% assistance in a variety of lifting and walking tasks. The system uses a unique spur gear mechanical design that provides low intrinsic impedance and low added mass. Two, 
we leverage biomechanical data sets to illustrate versatile impedance control and present new data-driven assistive impedance values for lifting and incline walking augmentation. Three, we demonstrate for the first time metabolic benefits for both lifting and incline walking with a single powered hip exoskeleton. Special thanks to some additional colleagues and funding sources. Thank you for watching, and please check out more of our research in the EPIC and DART labs at Georgia Tech.